Today we're comparing the P365XL to the SIG P365X Macro. We're talking about size, capacity, performance, and the biggest question on everybody's mind, compatibility and interchangeability. <laughs> In 2018, SIG shocked the firearm industry with their P365. This was a gun the size of a single stack 9mm and offered increased capacity and utilized the impressive serialized fire control group. This fire control group system is awesome because it really unlocks the potential for upgrades. Since we're no longer tied down by a serialized frame, we can now easily purchase aftermarket frames online without any restrictions. Shortly following, in 2019, SIG then upgraded the P365 and released the P365 XL to the market, which features all the perks of the P365, but now slightly larger, which also means a larger capacity. When I purchased one of these a few years later, it quickly became my everyday carry due to its compact size and impressive capacity. Fast forward to 2022, SIG released the P365X Macro. The P365X Macro is even larger than the P365XL, yet still considered a micro-compact. The X Macro again features all the same perks of the previous models, except bigger, and it comes with a compensated slide. Due to the larger size, the X Macro has an impressive 17 plus 1 round capacity, yet is still smaller than some other very popular firearms, such as a Glock 19. Before we start the comparison, I want to disclose that I have no affiliation with SIG at this time. Both of these firearms were purchased at full price. So we're going to do another 15 rounds right now with the optics plate configuration. <laughs> 17 rounds inside this little guy. Very comfortable feel. Controls seem to be in the right spot. And it fits just, it really fits really well. So, all right, here we go. First couple mags. Man, this thing is shootable. Before we get started, both of these firearms feel great. I've carried the P365XL for a while now and even embarked on the quest to upgrade the XL to full potential. I've upgraded everything on this model except for the slide. For this review, I brought everything back to stock except for the Viridian green dot that's attached to it. So let's talk about features. First of all, optic plates. Both the P365XL and X Macro come with micro dot optic cuts. They use a tiny M3 by 0.5 by 13 screw for mounting the optics directly to the slide. The optic plate on the XL includes the rear sight, so removing the optic plate to install an optic means you lose that rear sight. The optic plate on the X Macro, however, is in front of the rear sight, so you get to keep your rear sight when you install an optic. Let's talk capacity. The SIG P365XL comes with a flush fit 13 round magazine and an extended 15 round magazine. The X Macro comes with two flush fit 17 round magazines. Now let's talk about the slide, frame, and barrel. Both firearms use the same fire control group, which means compatibility. Both slides are roughly the same dimensions, however, the X Macro features an integral compensator which is cut into the slide in the smaller P365 3.1 inch barrel. The XL, however, does not have a compensator but does include the longer 3.7 inch XL barrel. The grip module or frame on the X Macro is slightly taller than the XL to accommodate the larger magazines. The X Macro also has a longer grip module and a full size Picatinny rail on the bottom. That's how you can mount your lights, lasers, or other pistol mounted devices. And now we get down to performance. As stated previously, both are very soft shooters for their size. Let's compare the two, especially since that's the point of the video. In their stock configurations, minus the optics of course, the X Macro does shoot way softer than the XL. Of course, the built-in compensator is a huge factor. However, I also believe the larger frame size is also a contributor. Simply said, there is more gun to grab onto. More contact with the firearm means more stability. The built-in compensator does of course have its negatives. First, this gun gets hot quickly. That's because you're introducing hot gases to the slide instead of the indirect heat buffered by the barrel. The second negative, some people simply don't want to shoot with a compensator. They're louder, 
they blow gases upwards, and as some may claim, they do puff a little muzzle flash upwards, which I guess can be distracting and blinding in low light. I'll be honest though, this isn't an issue for me, and muzzle flash is bright, whether it comes out in front or slightly up. The macro does shoot much softer than the XL. The XL does have some features which might be considered better than the macro. As stated before, if you aren't interested in a compensator, that might be a great option. The barrel is also slightly longer, which can help with perceived accuracy and a minute ballistic performance increase. And I mean minute. Now for the question you've all been wondering, is the macro compatible with the XL? The answer is pretty much yes, minus a few exceptions. As I stated before, the P365 line all use the same fire controls group. The fire control group is where the rails are located. It's also where the slide release and takedown lever are located. That means you can successfully mate the different frames and slides together without any issues. The XL slide fits the macro frame and the macro slide fits the XL frame. But again, it isn't 100% compatible. Due to the integrally compensated frame on the macro, the longer 3.7 inch XL barrel does not fit inside the macro slide. The recoil spring is more captured in the macro frame, which prevents the longer barrel from inserting into the slide. Simply said, the angles just don't work. The other incompatibility comes in the magazines. Now, before you flip out, the macro magazine will fit and function inside the XL. However, due to the shorter grip and shorter magazines on the XL, the XL magazines will not seat in the macro frame. In conclusion, you can't really go wrong with either. Though the macro does seem to perform better and have a larger capacity, I feel the P365 XL is still very relevant. The P365 XL is slightly more compact and isn't compensated. By the way, you can still shove those 17 round macro mags in there. It's only a matter of time till a company out there manufactures a compatible base plate or grip extension. Well, I hope you all liked this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you all for your support. I kind of changed things up a little bit for this video. I'd like to hear your feedback, what you guys think on this one. Um, anyways, again, I really appreciate it. Leave a comment below in the comment section. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon just the way YouTube works out. If you don't hit the bell, you're not gonna get notified about my videos. And to be honest, you probably won't get notified anyways. But that's okay. <laughs> Again, thank you guys. Hope you all have an awesome day. Take care.